here that we start like ahead of her world title fight here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So, what did it mean to you, first off, when you heard the fight was going to happen here? Career's kind of come full circle at this point. Man, I cried my eyes out when I saw the date that they had given me on my contract, and then I had seen them announce the location for that date. I think I spent that whole 24 hours crying just because I knew, like you just said, it's a full circle moment. So this is where my dream started. This is where I started fighting, and now I get to win a world title here at home. Were there any specific places that you passed by in town where it like really hit you? Wow, I can remember when I started where I was. Yeah, I was actually staying downtown and I passed by the old Fit NHB location. So going by the old Fit was definitely so surreal. Just walking by. I used to walk to that gym every day. I didn't have a car, I didn't have a bike, I didn't have anything. I would walk to and from the gym every day. So to walk to the gym, it still felt like it was just yesterday. You've went and grabbed attention by the horns. You literally grabbed the belt away from the champ to make this fight happen. What has made you so tenacious now to go after your goals? Listen, I've got two little boys at home that I am the prime example to. I want them. I want to show them that you can go and get it. Don't be shy. Don't be scared. Go and grab life and just give it everything you have. You don't get things in life by just sitting and stand, like sitting and waiting and being like you got to go and get what you. Want. So I, that's just that's just how I am. I'm very stubborn, so I get what I want. <laughs> Why is Christine beatable in your opinion? A hundred percent. Why? Um, I think it's all just a facade. I think that she's a tough opponent. I think she's gonna bring the war, but um, she's a human being. What does it look like tomorrow night? A, a, winning, a title winning performance? Um, I really want a five round war. I really do. Like, of course, everybody wants a finish. I would love to knock her out. That's really sweet and all, but uh, someone's got to pay. I just worked my ass off for four months straight, suffered, sacrificed, and I want to enjoy every fucking minute being in that ring. Is it purposeful that we see Taylor the instigator? What do you mean? Like, is it normal for you to see that? Yeah, is this, is no. this you? Like I said, some, I've learned now uh, that in the industry that being cute and sweet and silent doesn't get you much. So sometimes you gotta go shake things, shake things up and cause up a stir. One last thing, what would it be mean to you to get that title around your waist tomorrow night? It would mean the world to me. I'm gonna try not to cry because that question always gets to me, but it would mean the world to me. I have so many people that believe in me, a team that works hard with me day in and day out. I have two boys, like I said, that I am an example to them and I just want to go home and take that belt and give it like just give it to all the people that believe in me and